Aaron, you made a huge gamble and you bet on yourself. Um, you had one more playing year with Ateneo. You decided against pursuing it. Instead, you went to train in the US. You played in the PBA D League for AMA. How did this prepare you for the PBA stage? Well, first of all, credit to my my family for helping me out with that decision. I wouldn't have made that decision without them. Uh, it was a hard decision for me. Um, I think confidence-wise, it was a big thing for me because I went to the States. I played against the guys who were going into the NBA draft. Um, I was able to compete over there. And then I got back here and Coach Charles Drew got me uh, with my team um, for, for the Jones Cup. And that's really when it started for me. I think playing with those guys every day in practice and then playing against the national teams of different countries, it gave me a lot of confidence going back here into the D-League and the MPBL. And that's really what started it all for me. Um, credit as well to my coaches in MPBL and, and the, the D-League for giving me the freedom I needed to play the point guard because uh, that's really what I wanted to explore uh, this past year because I knew going into the PBA it would be a big advantage to be a bigger guard. Aaron, you did everything you could to prepare yourself for the PBA. Uh, we've seen the developments. We've seen the improvements. But personally, was there a point in that tournament, in the PBA bubble, when you said that, hey, I, I belong in this stage. I, I can do well here in the PBA. Well, I think it was that uh, fourth game against Magnolia. I remember going into that game. I was I was super nervous. You know, you're going up against the best guards in the league, Halalo and uh, Paul Lee. Uh, Mark Barocca, Justin Melton, such a good defender. So, you know, going in there, I was I was really nervous. Um, but, you know, after the first half, I was able to, you know, score a couple points, make a couple assists. And, you know, I felt like I belonged. I felt like I could, I could compete. Because, um, you know, no matter how hard you work, you won't really know until you get there. And, you know, I was thankful that I was given the opportunity by my coaches as well as my teammates to be able to show that. Yeah.